assalamu alaikum friends my name is adnan kurban and uh, in the last three videos regarding crystal reports using stro procedure uh, we have learned so far the following things we have seen how to create database and table and we have created a stro procedure that was simply displaying the data of table onto the report and we have uh, defined connection string in app.configure file and we have also retrieved it into a string after that we have created a crystal report and we have configured it and uh, we have changed that dotnet target framework in order to view the crystal uh, report viewer into the toolbox and we have attached a crystal report to a crystal report viewer and then we have typed the code for displaying table onto the report and uh, the same thing for, uh, the, s uh, for the same thing using store procedure and uh, we have also um, we have also learned how to enable the procedure of setting data source of report document subject by using this command that is use legacy v2 runtime activation policy uh, in today's uh, video lecture we will learn how to use stored procedures that contain parameters with them um, for example if we want to display the uh, let's say uh, we'll move to our database table and uh, For example, we want to display the uh, particular record according to the given ID. And since now, we, since uh, so far we have discussed how to display the complete database uh, data tables record onto the report. But if we want to display a particular record by providing a parameter, for example, here we will uh, in today's example we will provide a parameter of id and the record related to that id will be displayed so in order to do that uh, just uh, create we will first create a store procedure go to programmability and uh, click on right click on store procedure and we will be creating a new store procedure that will uh, accept an argument and then display data according to that argument actually that parameter okay and type the following command create procedure and the name uh, here comes the name of the procedure let's say it uh, get data get data by <coughs> parameter and uh, we will provide a parameter here we will declare it and we will type uh, we will also mention the type of this variable and this parameter and we will type as begin and we will end it and we will type our query as select static from here comes the table name that is sample table sample table where where clause where id is equal to at the rate of id ok just execute it and it will display the message that commands completed successfully that means our store procedure is created successfully just refresh the store procedure and if you click on the plus sign you will see the get data by parameter st uh, store procedure now what we have to do is we will <coughs> switch back to our visual studio and uh, uh, so far we have created the following things we have created a form and we have dragged and dropped a button and a crystal report viewer on to it to view the crystal report this was our crystal report and uh, this was the code behind this uh, okay. the code was uh, this was a code this was used uh, actually this these three lines were used to display the record without uh, record of the ta data table onto the report without any stored procedure and uh, then we have typed the this code to display the record onto the report 
display the whole tables data onto the report using store procedures and now what we are going to do is we will be providing a parameter and uh, the data according to that parameter's value will be shown so just uh, drag and drop a button onto your form and uh, change the property as uh, show data by parameter you can name it whatever you want and uh, also we will drag and drop a text box as well and this text box will provide the will actually contains uh, we will type the id here and click on this button and whenever user clicks on this button it will display the data according to this id so just double click on this button and it will create an on click event for that button now type the following code here just copy it and paste it right here and we have what we have to do is we have to change the name of the store procedure that we are going to use go back to your sql server and copy that name right here here you have to type the name of the store procedure and uh, one more thing we have to do is we have to provide the parameter by typing d adopter that is the uh, data adopter subject dot select command dot parameters and uh, we have to add parameter with value and uh, type the parameter name that is id and uh, from where it is going to take the value it will take the value from this text box that has name text box one so we will type the name here as text box one dot text and uh, just save it <coughs> okay let's uh, let's start this program and just build it and uh, build our project press ctrl f5 and uh, as you can see that it is uh, not showing any kind of data if we click on this button it on and then inside its own click event we have typed the code that uh, actually calls a store procedure that uh, displays all the data of the table onto the report so if we click on it it will display all the data of the table onto our onto our report and uh, if we provide the id of a particular record like uh, if we want to uh, see the record that has id 6 then just type 6 here and uh, sh uh, click on the show data by parameter button and if you click on it it will just display the record of the person that has an id 6 if you change it uh, to 2 and uh, click on the button it will display the data or the record of uh, the person that has id 2 and uh, if you type uh, something some id that is not into our that is not in our database table and click on it and it then it will display nothing at all so just uh, we will click on show data and it will display all the data of the database table so this is how you can use store procedures uh, with and without a parameter this is uh, without a parameter and uh, this is with a parameter and uh, if you don't want to use any kind of uh, stroke procedure then simply type these three lines to uh, first of all create a report document subject then load the report load your report by specifying the address of the report into your rdc that is report document subject and then provide the crystal report viewer the report source by typing this command that says crystal report viewer dot report source dot rdc and the uh, solution explorer if you click on your solution explorer you can see the folder of reports so that's why we have typed reports here and cr1 is the name of our report along with uh, its extension that is rpt so i hope you have got the idea how to use store procedures with and without parameters to display data onto the report from the database and, uh, if you have any query you can please comment or you can comment on the comment section 
and I will entertain your queries as soon as possible and uh, do please subscribe my channel as well and uh, thank you for watching Allah Hafiz